In the past, I've shown people how to make their live streams better with Stinger transitions, particularly Matt Stinger transitions. Now I'm gonna show you a couple free ones that you can get. I'm gonna provide free downloads in the description down below. So go check it out, download it from the website, grab some free ones, but I'm also gonna show you an entire pack of matte transitions for your OBS, which you can use in After Effects, Premiere Pro, customize it in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro 10, whatever app you use to edit, you can do that with this. So let's take a look and see what these look like and how to customize them for your branding. I'll link the full pack of liquid matte transitions down in the description. They currently have a special going on as well. So depending on when you see this, that might not be active, but be sure to use the coupon code FROST at checkout and you'll get 15% off your order, which is really nice. They also have some free options on their website and in the plugin. So give those a try too. They're worth your time. It's actually pretty cool that they offer that kind of thing. So once you've downloaded a free plugin or purchased a premium pack from their website, you will be given a plugin from AE Juice called Pack Manager. This little guy here. Install this and it will include the plugin for Premiere Pro and After Effects. This will allow you to preview your transitions and all the packs you downloaded and use them in your projects. Now everything from AE Juice works in Mac or in Windows. So you're covered there. In After Effects, to view your Pack Manager plugin with all the downloads that you purchased or the free ones, go to Window AE Juice Pack Manager 4. Once this plugin opens, it will show you all the free packs that you can start with, which are really nice to have. Then go to your account with this button and click the sign in button. This will automatically sign you in when it opens your browser, as you can see by the prompt on screen. And then you're in and ready to create with all the packs that you purchase. And the same process goes for Premiere Pro. Go to Window, Extensions, AE Juice Pack Manager 4. So we're gonna start in After Effects first here, and you can see that with the pack open, there's a ton of them, so I don't have to waste time double clicking it and going into it to see what that transition looks like. Already, I like this one. It's part of the basic transition pack. There's a complex section as well, or if I just scroll down here, you can see all of these complex ones, which are pretty nice. Uh, but let's just pick one from one of the basic transitions here. I think this one's pretty cool, so what I'm gonna do is double click on it, and then this is going to show up on screen, and it's going to prepare the download for me. Now once that's downloaded I can close the AE Juice Pack Manager 4 and what I've got is this new layer here which is quite nice. So I've already got my first clip here and then I've got my second clip here and you can see that right now it's just going to one from one to the other and there's really no transition. So what I'm going to do is click the layer that was imported here and I'm going to just drag it to line it up with this clip of the second clip here. You can see that it's already chosen alpha matte on my uh, second shot here, uh, the shot that it's directly above. And this layer is currently hidden because uh, it's going to act as a track mat. So if I go ahead and play this, you'll see the transition happen. So you can see that's really easy and drag and drop. It, it's so quick. I mean, just to show you how easy it is in Premiere Pro, I've got the same situation here. Let's go ahead and pick a more complex one. Uh, let's let's just choose this one. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my sequence that I have here, or I can double click it either way. And once that's imported, I can again go ahead and close the eJuice Pack Manager. I'm going to drag it onto the third layer here, the third video layer. Again, I've got my first video layer and my second video layer that I wanna transition into. Now, what I do is with my second clip here, the one I transitioned to, I'm I'm going to overlay it on the top of my first clip and it's going to be the same duration here as the transition. So then what I'm also going to do is go to the effects tab here and I'm going to type in track mat key. I'll apply this effect to that video layer and then what I'm going to do is in the effects here I'm going to choose video 3 because it's targeting this track mat layer here. So if I go ahead and play it, it's gonna use that as a track mat and it's gonna to transition to the next clip. So this is extremely easy and very straightforward and takes absolutely no time. So if I go up to here to the AE Juice Pack Manager 4, I'm gonna show you that I'll be including a download on the website, uh, one of the first two transitions from the basic section here, and then I'll go to the more complex ones and I'll include one of the complex ones too. So you'll have two free transitions in the download. I'll leave that down in the description. Uh, and it's a free pack that you can download or two of those from the free pack. You can thank AE Juice for that. Leave that in the comments. Now, remember you can download those down in the description. Also, you can get the full pack on aejuice.com. That link is down below. Use the coupon FROST at checkout for 15% your order. And you can even get the full pack at a huge discount, which is really nice. Now, remember you can use these for your OBS streaming, for your live streams, which is really nice. And I do have video 
videos in the top right if you want to learn how to set those up for your live streams using Matt's Ding and Transitions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great.